Hello, my name is Kat, and today I am doing the bookshelf scavenger hunt tag. These are my bookshelves, and now I'm going to scavenge them. This tag was created by Sarah of the Library of Sarah here on YouTube, and I wasn't exactly tagged to do it, but some people requested that I do it, so I'm doing it. I don't need to be tagged. I'm a tagged fire. There are 19 items to find, so let's just get started already. Find an author's name or a title with the letter Z in it. How about The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak? There's a Z name for ya. Find a classic. For this one, I'll go with The Complete Novels of Jane Austen, this behemoth of a book. It's like a collection of classics, so that counts for extra points. I get bonus points, right? Find a book with a key on it. I already know this one. The Archived by Victoria Schwab. Look at that key. It's shiny too. I don't know if you can see it, but it's shiny. A shiny key. I get bonus points for that, right? Find something on your bookshelf that is not a book. How about this? It's a glittery jar. It's a jar of good things, basically. Um, I made this in the beginning of January and it's shedding glitter everywhere. Can you see the glitter? So I obtained a jar and then I decorated it with glitter and now every time something really good or fun happens throughout the year, I write it on a little piece of paper and I throw it in the jar and then in December I'm going to reminisce with glitter. glitter. Oh my god, I'm gonna be glittery for the rest of my life. Find the oldest book on your shelf. For this one, it's probably going to be this um, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is the first American edition. It was printed in 1998. It's like 14, almost 15 years old. This is older than some of you guys. Like, this book's pretty old. Find a book with a girl on the cover. Okay, that's like half of my library, but I'll just pick one. Let's go with Unearthly by Cynthia Hand for this one, because I just finished the trilogy and it was awesome, and also it's shiny and pretty, so bonus points for that! Next up is to find a book that has an animal in it. Plain Kate. I haven't read this yet, but look, there's the kitty right there on the cover, and also um, the cat is mentioned in like the blurb, so I'm sure it plays some kind of role in the book. I should read this. Find a book that has a male protagonist. For this, let's go with A Going Bovine by Libba Bray. Male protagonist, fantastic book. And yes, I am using a dollar bill as a bookmark, and yes, that does give me bonus points. Find a book with only words on it. It's hard to find a book with like only words, but um, how about Beautiful Creatures? This is actually not a book because I'm currently reading Beautiful Creatures, but aside from this tree thing, it's mostly just words. Find a book with illustrations in it. Lips Touch by Lainey Taylor. So pretty. Find a book with gold lettering. This was actually a little bit hard, but I picked up A Need So Beautiful, which is a goldish book, and but doesn't really have gold lettering until I love gold. Find a diary, true or fictional. The absolutely true diary of a part-time Indian. I actually have not read this book, so I don't really know if it's a diary or not, but it says a diary in the title, so I get bonus points for that. Find a book written by an author with a common last name, such as Smith. Let's go black. Holly Black. Pretty common last name, I think. Find a book that has a close-up of something on it. How about... Fight Club, which has a close-up of a fist, like it's coming right at ya! Bonus points for that. Find a book on your shelf that takes place in the earliest time period. The Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer. This takes place in like the 1300s. I think. Find a hardcover book without a dust jacket. Here I have my omnibus of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. All three books in this one um, big book. I don't know if it had a dust jacket originally or if I'm just a terrible person and I lost it, but it doesn't have one now. Find a teal or turquoise colored book. Through the Ever Night 
which underneath its dust jacket is an even more teal and bluish turquoise. I love it. I should dye my hair this color again. Find a book with stars on it. A Million Suns by Beth Revis. This one is all about the stars. And finally, find a non-young adult book. My library is almost exclusively young adult, so this one is probably the trickiest one, but I do have adult books, so fear not. Most of the adult books I have are like pretty big books, like The Time Traveler's Wife, or Fight Club, or The Da Vinci Code, but I do have a few adult books, so take that and give me bonus points. All right, those are all of the things I was supposed to find in my bookshelves, and now it's time to bring this video to an end. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have another one up soon, so I will see you then. Goodbye.